Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going over a recent news report that former Georgia Senator David Perdue is considering running for Senate again in 2022, this time going up against current freshman Senator Raphael Warnock. Now, David Perdue is interesting because he was, by pretty much most metrics, the better of the two Republican candidates. He was more popular and had more name recognition than Kelly Loeffler did. And David Perdue, just been going on Instagram, just seeing what a lot of people thought about it. A lot of people don't like the idea of David Perdue running again. And personally, from my perspective, I think it's a good idea. I think from a purely non-partisan uh, thing, is if I want to see the most competitive race that could happen, because in all fairness, as someone who looks at elections and looks at competitive races, I want them to be as competitive as they can get. And I think David Perdue is very, very good for that. Because I think that if Raphael Warnock is running, the Republicans in Georgia, who just lost both of their Senate seats and the presidency, this has not happened since the 80s and the 90s, it would be very, very smart for them to run a candidate who is capable at winning back these seats. And David Perdue, don't forget, almost won against John Ossoff in the presidential election. For uh, The Senate was going on at the same time. David Perdue got 49.7% of the vote against John Ossoff, who by all polling metrics was supposed to be the more stronger Democratic candidate. John Ossoff often performed better in the polls for most of the time than Raphael Warnock did. So, to me, if David Perdue does run against Raphael Warnock, well, A, it, won't be a it likely won't start off a runoff election. It will likely be decided on election night unless there's another runoff or a third-party candidate, but it'll probably be decided on election night. You have Dave Perdue, who is the more popular Republican of the two running last time, and you'll have Raphael Warnock, who was technically the least popular of the two Democrats last time. So it's a very interesting matchup because you have Dave Perdue, who represented Georgia since 2014 in the Senate, against Raphael Warnock, who just won against Kelly Loeffler. And now... It will be the 2022 election environment, by most metrics, is supposed to be a Republican wave year. Of course, however, that is still two years away. We don't know what the country will be like two years from now. We don't know what issues we face in the country two years from now. We don't know if the same issues of today will be the same two years from now. We don't know if new issues will occur. We're not sure. We don't know what issues we'll be facing Georgia two years from now either. So, we don't know if Raphael Warnock is going to be a senator that votes, probably votes with most of the Democrats. We don't know if the people of Georgia are going to want more of that. We don't know if they're going to want less of that. We really don't know. So the next two years are going to be very, very pivotal in whether or not David Perdue can actually have a shot at flipping back one of their Georgia Senate seats. One thing's for clear is the seat that David Perdue lost to John Ossoff, that's going to be Democrat for the next six years. The Republicans have a real opportunity here to flip back at least one of the seats and say Georgia's not a Democratic state yet. It's going to be very, very difficult, though, because I expect the governor's race is probably going to be Stacey Abrams versus Brian Kemp again. And the Democrats have all the momentum in that race right now. Stacey Abrams helped campaign and fundraise and lead to the Democrats winning across the board in Georgia on election night in 2020. Not to mention Brian Kemp having such a very high media profile feud with President Trump is only going to hurt his chances at winning re-election for governor as well. So, David Perdue, I think, is one of the better candidates the Republicans actually could run in Georgia. The main question is, I don't know if two years from now, if the environment's going to be more or less favorable than it is today. If the election were held today, I would expect Raphael Warnock would win very, very narrowly, but he would win again. Two years from now, if the election truly is going to be a Republican wave year, then you know what? Maybe David Perdue's got a shot to flip it, but at this time, all we can really do is wait and see what happens and if things change over the next two years. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. If you really liked it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.